I don't need smart shampoo. Outside, we have mostly cloudy skies, and uh, really, when it comes down to it, uh, we're going to keep it dry here in Pittsburgh through much of the night and much of the day tomorrow. Up around I-80, that's where we're going to start to see some snow showers moving in tonight. 25 outside right now, northeasterly winds at 6 miles per hour. It feels like 18, though, so there is a wind chill, and the wind chill will be sticking with us through the night. Temperature-wise, it feels, or actually it is the mid to upper teens up to the north. Most of our temperatures are in the low to mid-20s. Gets a little warmer, Connellsville down into Morgantown, 27 degrees, both spots there. You factor in the winds, and it feels like single digits, Dubois to Clarion, 10 up in Franklin, 14 Butler, Beaver Falls, it feels like 16 degrees right now, and 19 in Waynesburg, 18 for Washington. So we have a quiet night for most of us, and this really comes with some quiet conditions and cool conditions through the night. Rain and snow return to the area tomorrow. Actually, the snow arrives tonight up along I-80. Rain showers move in later in the day around Pittsburgh. So we have a couple different things to talk about when we get to Futurecast. Then we're going to see some up and down temperatures and some pretty good temperature swings as we go through the next several days. Right now, we have some snow showers. They're up to the north. You can see them moving across Lake Erie, up towards uh, Erie, Crawford County, pushing down close to I-80. Now, this snow is not going to cause major problems. We could see between tonight and its duration about a coating to an inch around I-80, and that's about it. As you get south of I-80, we're looking at the clouds, and we're expecting this to remain the case as we go through the night and into tomorrow. Now, Futurecast here shows 7 a.m., that snow still hanging around northern parts of Venango County, trying to touch down into Clarion, and it'll bobble around I-80 through much of the day. But uh, again, snow accumulations are not going to be a major issue in any way, shape, or form. Now, as we get towards lunchtime, you can see most of that snow up to the north. Then we get towards 4, 5, 6 o'clock, and we see these rain showers moving through the area. Those will continue to pass as we go through the day, and that's going to drop in some cooler air. So temperatures go from the mid-40s tomorrow to the upper 30s Thursday. Another bump in those temperatures from Friday, and then we see a slide. It's coldest of the air Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week as temperatures do not get out of the 20s. Through the night, cloudy skies. Temperatures dip down into the lower 20s by early tomorrow morning. We're looking at highs generally in the mid 40s around Allegheny County. Some uh, random flakes trying to mix in with that rain as it comes through, but mostly rain as that gets into play later in the day. Same deal down to the south. Temperatures though a little warmer here. We're looking at mid to upper 40s for high temperatures. As you go off to the east, temperatures in Greensburg are going to be in the mid 40s, low 40s up in Somerset, mid 40s Indiana and areas of Armstrong County, Catanning, Fort City area. Upper 30s to low 40s up to the north. This is where we're going to see some scattered snow showers, especially north of I-80. Again, accumulations, not a big deal. Temperatures into Thursday, cooler. Friday, the nicest day of the whole forecast, partly cloudy and about 50 degrees. And then some showers that are both rain and snow come into play for the weekend with much cooler temperatures into next week. You can sort out this forecast, though, anytime you want. Just get the KDKA weather app. You get the forecast, you get the radar, you get hourly forecasts. It even sends alerts right to your phone. It's free and available in the App Store and Google Play by searching CBS Pittsburgh.